Yo, what's up everybody? This is Michael Page, aka Papa Bail. And I've now hopefully I made a circuit that makes sense. It's gonna start with this one. It's gonna go around to this one. I'm just gonna hop to the second row and go. To, to the second coil. These coils actually take a lot out of me, so <laughs> it's gonna be slow going, but I think it'll be worth it when we get done here. So we're gonna take a little peek at the generation capabilities. At just under four volts. Two hundred and fifty volts. Two seventy. Eighty to ninety three hundred volts. And that's a power cut. I think this is going to be spectacular, man. <laughs> I just I have a feeling like that all this is going to pay off to be something worth it. But that's, that's every coil hooked together in a series circuit. In like a spiral outward. That, that was spectacular, man. I've never seen 300 before. Not on, not on this rotor. <laughs> and this would be the rotor it would happen on for sure. Wow. <clears throat> That's great. It's still above 50, 70. No, it's that's awesome because it's still spinning, of course. But and that that was under four volts. It was running at like one point five amps, three point eight volts. That's spectacular. I want to I want to make another coil. Yeah, or find another coil that will go in there. <clears throat> We've kind of narrowed it down, though. They all got to be the same size. Don't know what I'm going to do with this big one yet. I might leave it in there because it's about the, the length it needs to be. Let's just take a quick look at the two that I have done. I'm going to wind them all the way around. Like right there. See, I don't know what I'm going to do right there. I got to... For the sake of... Uh, keeping it linear, I should probably remove that. Although that will probably actually hinder the progress. If voltage is the progress, removing that will probably hurt what's going on. Because that is essentially what we're making on each one of these. 
We're adding two more to each one. <clears throat> then we're going to wrap it around. Then we're going to wrap it around again. And we're, I just, I like, I like that, that method. And then we're individually hooking things up to each node. I'm going to call it a node. Because if you go like right there, each magnet has a node. And the, lots of things can be on that node. Like, like for instance, there's two coils and a magnet on this one. And when the magnet passes, which we've cut the, the rate down a lot by adding more. And there's passing again. But there's always ever going to be one magnet and however many coils are in that node. <clears throat> or, you know, you can stack magnets. That's, that's not what I'm saying. One magnetic field is what I'm saying. Each magnet node has a magnetic field. And you can stack a bunch of magnets on it. And it's just going to make that field stronger. Right? I mean, that that's what I <coughs> heard on. I don't even know. So that might be BS. I don't know. Uh, well, I'll have to look it up. But I'm pretty sure adding more magnets will increase the strength of the magnets. <clears throat> Don't know what the equation is, though. Uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe, and have a great night.